everyone! So this is a vlog about my time at Anime Festival Orlando, otherwise known as AFL. I didn't really record anything there because I didn't really know what to record and I also just felt kind of embarrassed to record things. I don't know, sometimes I get like that. Like I'll go someplace and you know, and before I go I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a vlog about this. It'll be awesome. I'll capture all these memories and stuff. But then when I get there, I get kind of like shy and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what to do. But um, I really shouldn't be like that though because there are like tons of YouTubers who vlog. Like Graveyard Girl will go into Walmart and or Target, either one, and not care. And just record her shenanigans in there. And I wish it could be like that. So, anyway, moving on. Yeah, I went there on whim. So that's why I also, I also just, I just wanted to have fun, really. Sometimes when I start recording things, I get like, I don't know, too distracted, I guess. You know, I just wanted to have fun because I went there on whim. I probably said that like five times already. All right, I only stayed for about six hours and I went with this group who I'm, who uh, a few of the people I met at AFL last year. So I didn't really know these people too well, but. <laughs> I know that sounds totally sketchy because like it was like I pretty much hopped into a car with strangers, but it was okay. Okay, nothing bad happened. I know I, I would recommend you to do your research first, people, but um no, I wasn't with complete strangers. And they were about the same age as me. Anyway, it was fun <clears throat> nonetheless. I had a good time. So my cosplay wasn't really a cosplay per per se I suppose it was um I had this unicorn mask that my friend bought me randomly and I um I put it on and I wore like a um like a school uniform type thing the thing the thing with the mask is that it's hard to see through if you're walking around yeah don't wear the mask if you're just kind of dancing around and yeah you can wear it you only see through the nostrils which are the huge holes here yeah yeah that's all you can see out of so don't i wouldn't recommend wearing that mask while walking because you might end up like me okay when i got there i put it well not right when i got there like after i got my ticket and stuff i put on the mask and i started walking around with it and then I walked into this little girl who was taking, who from what looked like, was taking a picture of Santa, but Santa was like carrying a huge sword, so I'm thinking it was like a Final Fantasy version of Santa, I don't know. But I feel so terrible about it because I like walked into her, she didn't fall or anything, but it was a bad thing to do nonetheless, and I didn't even apologize, like I was just so embarrassed. I just took off the mask and walked away. It was... It was bad. I don't know. I'm never gonna do that again though. Never again. Like I should have just I should have just like asked her if she was okay and stuff. I'm so bad. <laughs> I have a seat reserved for me in hell. As if I didn't already have one there. Events, yes. Okay, so I went to three events that were really, really fun. I went to this one that was called Super Happy Fun Time. I don't know. Basically it was like a Japanese type of game show kind of thing, hence the name, but it was all based on like trivia. And you won prizes. It was awesome. I don't really know how to explain it, but it was really fun. And the trivia was pretty easy, at least for me, I think. And I won cooking chopsticks, which I don't have with me. They're at home. And But I was kind of disappointed. I thought that chopsticks would be plastic, but they're actually wooden, so I can't really like reuse them a lot. I don't know, but whatever. At least I won something, okay? That's awesome. Um, next interesting event was the hentai panel. Yeah. I, no, no. Hentai game show. That was quite interesting. Okay, yeah, it was, um, I was really excited to go. I don't, I don't know about, um, you folks out there who are probably more sane than me, but it was fun. Yes, it was. Okay, basically, the premise of the game show was that they would show a clip from a hentai and someone from the audience would have to guess where it was from. Of course, that was very unsuccessful. Um, there were some really weird clips, of course, I mean like, like really, did I expect to see something normal? No. But there was one that was really disturbing and, you know, really makes me question. I don't know who I should be more concerned for, the people who actually make that stuff or the people who actually watch it and think it's like, hot. I don't know. It was disturbing, it involved a, a girl and she was in a crib and there was a diaper and bodily functions were involved and the nasty kind and there wasn't even anything like no like sexual intercourse or anything it was just 
it was just gross. If you can like ask other people that went there, like just ask someone, hey, at the hentai panel, game show at AFO, remember that one about the girl with the diaper? Yeah, people are not gonna have a happy face thinking about that. Um, the hentai panel also offered fun audience interactive, ga interactive games with the audience. Was that redundant? Probably. All right. Um, some of them involved deep throating a banana and the panty raid, which was basically someone threw some lady undergarments in the air and then someone catched it, caught it, catch, someone caught it and then the other people chased them around. It was quite enjoyable. Yes, it was to watch. Then there was a few other things, but I mean, I don't know. It was interesting. Okay. And then finally was the um, little burlesque show, which was pretty cute. It was panty and stocking with a garter belt theme. I'm, I'm fairly familiar with the anime. I've watched a few episodes, but I haven't seen everything yet. Let me tell you, okay, the show was pretty good, but this one girl, this one girl who, oh, uh, who was she? She was one of the red girls, you know? Either tube socks or scanty. You know, if you're familiar with the anime, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, well, basically in Panty and Stocking, the two heroines, I suppose, heroes are Panty and Stocking, and they have like evil versions of them that are red. That's all I know. But this one girl though, she was, she killed it. Like she was on the chair. She had a belt. She's like swinging it around. It was so badass. Like you could, like everyone agreed. Like she was, she was, she was awesome. Yeah. Um, that was the last thing I saw. So that was my experience at AFO. It was pretty fun. And then I went home at about 4.30. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. I didn't, I didn't do anything crazy though. It was just like a longest drive and we stopped by McDonald's. Yeah. And now on to pictures. Woo!